name is Dale. I'm here to do the review of MC8, which way is West album on behalf of Audio Liquor Internet Magazine. I haven't heard from MC8 in a long time as far as a whole album, a whole project. In the late 80s, I would say the late 80s to like mid to late 90s, you had a gang of um, artists coming out of Compton. And that was due to NWA success. And NWA uh, came out straight out of Compton and it blew up and it sold all these albums. You, you had like Condom Most Wanted come a little bit after that, then you know you had DJ Quick. At first I thought Condom Most Wanted was the product of a record company saying, oh, NWA sold all these records from straight out of Compton, so let's just, you know, let's get paid off that, let's, let's make money off that and just sign somebody from Compton or sign somebody that ain't even from Compton and then say they from Compton. So I thought Compton Most Wanted was like almost like a parody group. Like you, you had groups like HWA that was hoes with the attitude. It was like a, a spinoff of NWA. So I didn't take them serious at first. They had a video uh, one time scaffolding them up. And I thought it was cool, but it wasn't enough to make me go buy the album. Then their second album came out, which was straight checking them. And that was a banger. It had Growing Up in the Hood, which was the lead single off that joint. And that album, I killed that album. I played that album to death. It was on heavy rotation. And they had a third album called Music to Drive By. And I killed that just as much as the, the second album. I played them two albums over and over, especially that third album, because by the time that third album dropped, I had had a car. I had my first car. Uh, had my first job and I would play that joint in my ride. I would play that joint on the bus to work. I would play that joint at work on my Walkman. I had the cassettes. I was buying cassettes at the time and I killed them joints. And then not too long after Music the Drive-By came out, he played in his movie called Menace to Society. And if you haven't seen Menace to Society, you need to see it. It's a hood classic. He was one of the standouts in the joint and he did good, his acting was good, and he, his popularity grew. Because prior to that, in his group Compton Most Wanted, they never made commercial or club joints. They were straight, gangster, street, dark, aggressive beats. They had a lot of scratching and cutting on that jump from DJ Unknown and DJ Slip. Them two was a monster on the turntables, and they was a monster with the production. You know, even NWA had Express Yourself that was that was kind of radio friendly that could get played on the radio then. You know, they had Just Don't Bite It off the Niggas For Life album, which got a lot of club play. Even though it was a raunchy ass song, it got a lot of club play. And DJ Quick had his few commercial joints due to the style of production at times he did, which was like up upbeat party type beats, you know, with the heavy claps but not not caught the most wanted so after menace you know he, he got menace's popularity grew he came out with a fourth album you know it was just mca featuring cnw which is uh, called the most wanted which is basically how it was prior to that he was the one doing the majority of the rapping if not all the rapping uh you rarely heard from this dude named the chill and and, and um I think the other guy was named Bam Bip or Boom Bam or whatever his name was. You rarely heard from them two guys. It was majority of the time it was MC8. And after that fourth album, I didn't hear you know that fourth album it was solid, but it wasn't nearly as good as straight checking them and um music to drive by. Um I didn't hear from him after that for a very long time. Then he started popping up on these uh, Marco Polo songs. Marco Polo is a producer that does these compilation albums and he does the beats and he gets, you know, different artists to rap on different songs. You know, and he made a, he made a couple of compilation albums and MCA was on a few of them joints and, and the songs were pretty good. Then you heard him on, you know, you heard MC8 on Kendrick Lamar joint, you know, Mad City album and he killed it. So now he has a new album which is entirely executive produced by DJ Premier. And if you don't know DJ Premier, you need to get up on DJ Premier. 
He's one of the best hip hop producers ever. He's on my Mount Rushmore of hip hop producers. And not only does he did he did tracks for Biggie, he then did tracks for Nas, Jay Z, um, you name it. He was in a, a legendary hip hop group called Gangstar, um, which you can see back there. I got a little 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 poster back there of him. And you know he's even done joints for uh, Christine Aguilera, Miguel, D'Angelo. So. He's legendary, and I was when I heard that I was like, "Oh, I got, I gotta get this joint." But DJ Premier only made like three or four beats on the whole album. The 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 majority of the production is done by this dude named Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra, I think that's his name, and um, he had some heaters on there. He did a good job. So um, the album, the the content of the album is gangster. But it's OG music. It's like adult gangster music, if that make any sense. It's not a lot of kill, kill, murder, murder, kill, kill. Even though it's some of that sprinkle here and there. You know, he's talking about smoking and drinking, partying in the hood. Um, he got some serious uh, street tales in there. He's dropping a little street knowledge here and there. You know, it's not as, as, as aggressive as his old album, but it's still... Gangsta. So let's get into some of the standout songs. There's a lot of standout songs on there. Um, we got a joint on there called Represent Like This featuring WC. You know, uh, Brink Sinatra did the production. He had DJ, uh, DJ Premier doing the scratch and cuts on the hook. Instead of a hook, he's doing the scratching and cutting, which is uh, kind of a throwback to the 90s. You know, in the 90s, more so than people saying hooks or singing hooks. They had a DJ scratching on the break in between every verse. So you got that in this song, and I like that. I really like that. Next song is Compton Zoo, which is another joint uh, produced by Brink Sinatra. Brink Sinatra and, uh, had got cuts and scratches from DJ Premier on the joint, like, like the joint prior that I told you. Um, he has Heart Cold, which is featuring Lady of Rage, and I ain't heard from Lady in a Ra Lady of Rage in a long time. She kills it. She gets her man. This might be one of my favorite songs on this album. You got a joint on there called Got That. Love the beat. The production is crazy. I love it. DJ Premier, he does the cuts on the jump, on the hook again, and it's kind of... I like it because it, it kind of reminds me of them old Gangstar songs where he used to do that a lot. Next joint got Medicaid. Medicated. That's featuring Exhibit. DJ Premier again on the cuts. Like the joint. Born to Hustle. Featuring Big Mike. I haven't heard from Big Mike in a long time. If you're not familiar with Big Mike, he uh, he was with Rap A Lot Records for a long time in the 90s. He, uh, he replaced Willie D on the Ghetto Boys album. He's part of the Ghetto Boys for a short period of time. Like the joint. The guys are singing on the hook. I like it. Sitting around smoking. I love this joint. I don't even smoke and I love it. I can appreciate a good smoke joint even though I don't smoke. So it's, it's a nice joint that you can lay back and smoke to if that's what you do. Or you can drive to. You know with cuts at the end with DJ Premier cutting at the end of the song instead of on the breaks. Um, as I proceed, love this beat. It sounds like a disco sample, but hard. I love this joint. One of my favorite joints on there. Another joint, Last Ones, uh, featuring C&W, produced by DJ Premier. Now, this is actually a joint that DJ P Premier produced instead of just doing the, scra the scratches on the joint. For the OGs, this joint is featuring Bumpy Knuckles, Freddie Fox, produced by DJ Premier again. Nice joint. They go in and uh, another joint is You Knows, which is like the last song on the joint. I like that joint. Overall, I would get this joint a B. It's a very consistent joint. It's not. It's a few songs on there I, I don't like, but I can't get into, but they're not whack. There's nothing whack on here at all. I'm not a gangster, not a thug. I never was a gangster or a thug, even back in the days when I was doing shit I wasn't supposed to be doing. But I all, but every now and then I want to hear some good gangster shit, and this is some good gangster shit. It's good to hear MCA back. I like when the veterans come back and make good music. Oh, by the way, before I go, I just want to say Compton is killing it right now. It's like a Compton renaissance. You got this MCA joint that just dropped, this banging. You got the Kendrick Lamar damn album, which is damn near classic. You got Il Camille 
heirloom album which is very solid you had the game 1992 album that came out last year it's a banger i don't even know if schoolboy q is from compton but i'm guessing he is because he you know he's so associated with kendrick lamar that that album was very solid so right now compton is making the best music in my opinion they're coming out with the best artists and best music in the last two years so far it's like a it's like a compton uh resurrection or something like that it's, it's good to, good to hear that and there you go yeah